things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day for Friday, October 29th, last day of the month. How you guys doing? You guys have a good month? Well, if you had a good month, step away from the computer. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start out with the SPY. All right, where is the SPY? Well, we got a new Dark Pool level. All right, we got this uh, 7 million level. Yesterday, 453.54, we are currently above it, and it actually happened on the 27th. They just showed us these late prints yesterday. So really key level to watch in the big picture. We're trying to sit on the 4 EMA. We've been riding the 4 train. See that all the way up. Will the SPY hold it? Well, we're going to be bullish above 458.06. And we're going to be bearish below 455 for a, uh, a retrace, all right, down to this 8 EMA possibly. All right, so we do have uh, quite a few dark pool levels. So they like to play print palm, which is why this target right here says DP. That's their level. They may take it there, which uh, coincidentally will be right around that 8 EMA. So those are the two trades to watch. You can see on the SPY 5-minute chart right now, that peanut butter and jelly, the peanut butter has been heavy resistance. So there's, yeah, there's a battle going on right now. All right, so let's see which way it wants to go. Let's go to the IWM. The IWM, the Russell. We are going to be bullish above 229.50. There were so many pivots. Um, I just didn't like a trade before that level on the upside. It may chop around. Bear below 226.80. Not really too crazy uh, about the Russell today. Let's head on over to the queues. That's where the action is. Lots of earnings uh, coming out in that sector. So we are going to be bullish today above 382.50. I went above this uh, red moving average called the Jelly, the 200 simple on a five minute chart. Coast is clear above there. Uh, bear below 379. 80. All right, so in between the 4 and the 8 EMA on the daily chart is that down trade. Let's head on over to the futures. Yeah, let's check those out. Dark pool's been uh, fairly light, though, I have to say, on the major indexes. We've had heavy on individual stocks. So let's go to the E minis, bullish above 45.75, bear below 4.559. All right, we're kind of stuck in between that. The NASDAQ futures, bullish above 15.725, bear below 15.600. Okay, let's head on over to oil. That is super hot because guess what? We had oil earnings. And look at that drop we just had. Wow, we just literally went right below the pivot. All right, we're going to be bullish today above 84. I went high. Why did I do that? Well, staircase of resistance here so much, which is probably why I just took a dive. <laughs> it saw that and said, you know, maybe we'll come down. Yeah, I, I'm going to be bullish right here. That's my upside trade. Bear below 82.25. We've just gone below that. We've retraced to the pivot, right? So um, that is the first trade is on. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's head on over to gold futures. Gold futures just took a dive as well. Yeah, look at that. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 18.02 and 50 cents and bear below 17.89. We just went below and I believe we just hit our first target. Yep, 85. And see it, you know, bounce a little bit. Yep, those $5 increments. There's going to be some computers buying that. So watch that for the next entry on the short side. Let's head on over to Bitcoin. Check out what's going on over there. Yeah, Bitcoin trying to hold on here. Well, a little bit in the red. It's It's been bobbling between these two Camarilla pivots. Yeah, if you don't have these on your charts, you are definitely missing out. We teach you how to put these on in the training pit. Special pivots that do not come with think or swim, but they, as you know, they're amazing. I use them every day in the whisper. So 
bullish above 62250, bear below 60,000. That is a major level if you don't hold up. All right, look out for that. Okay, let's go to the individual stocks. We're going to start with Apple. Apple had massive dark pull activity recently and earnings. I don't really care what the earnings are. I only care about the prints. And right now we are below the prints, which is bearish. It was, so this is a great lesson. Yesterday we talked about this in the Java pit. I don't care what the stock does before earnings. They do this a lot. They push it up. Get out. It was a great pre-earnings momentum trade yesterday. A lot of my traders took this. There's a great whisper. But don't think because they're pushing it up before earnings, the earnings are going to be good. That is the oldest trick in the book. Okay. We love to trade it before earnings and after earnings. Don't like trading into earnings. Okay. It's gambling. You could try it, but know your risk. All right. So today, all right, great day to trade it. We're going to be bullish above 150. I did not like the upside trade here. Let me show you maybe what I saw. Um, I just couldn't find a good level. Really a great level to get in between all these moving averages. You know, on a five-minute chart, the peanut butter and jelly is blocking us. You know, and then look on a 15-minute chart. The peanut butter and jelly is blocking us right here. So I only like this trade above 150. The downside bear below 146.75. It might just kind of tinker in between, but unless it breaks those levels, I would not enter the day trade. All right, let's go to Starbucks. Also getting hammered. Again, I don't care what the earnings were. I'm only going to trade the price action. Bullish above 109.50, bear below 107. We've already gone down. And look at that. It came down to 105.91. All right, so close to this 105.88 target. Um, yeah, if we go below that, I'd say 105.80 or 75 cents for the next entry if you are not in it yet. Okay, bullish above 109.50. Um, you know what? I might change that because we've moved down. Hold on a sec. Might give you another level to enter on the upside. Um, 10, well, we'd have to clear this 30 simple moving average right here. There's a green moving average right here. Yeah, so there's a pocket right there. Yeah, so that would be a possible other entry there. Okay, so let's go to ExxonMobil. They had earnings. Exxon, bullish above 65.50. Which is interesting, right? Oil took the dump, but ExxonMobil is strong right now. Yeah, they're below 63.80. Chevron also had earnings this morning, and uh, yep, liking it. Bullish above 115.50. I saw some sellers there, so if we could break above that, bullish. Bear below 114 for the retrace. Let's go to Western Digital. Not having a good day here. Bullish only above 52 and bear below $50.50 for WDC. Zen, Zendesk, Z E N, bullish above 100 and bear below 20, I'm sorry, 95. Bear below 95. Yeah. Trend trade. I'm going to be talking about that, by the way, this weekend in the Dark Pool Insights. Yeah, special edition this weekend. I'm uh, going to go over my three secrets to day trading earnings. All right, so stay tuned for that over the weekend. Uh, X is the next one. Bullish above 25.50. We are there right now. Looks like there's some sellers at 51 cents. This is when we watch and see if they're refreshing when it gets to these levels. Kind of just going to watch for one second right now. I would actually watch and see if they're refreshing on the bid. He's got 400 on the NASDAQ book right now. So watch, yeah, watch that. I'm going to flip to the next stock, but you definitely watch that. That'll be good training right here. Great lesson. All right, let's uh, bear below 24.75, by the way. All right, let's head on over to Tesla. Two massive dark pool prints in a row, by the way. Yeah, it's very rare. Very rare. Uh, we had that 1049.91 print. 
1.1 million and then we had um the 1071 99 400,000 and then we had another one 370,000 like these guys are big for Tesla so the fact that we had this 1.1 really I mean we're going to get another massive move coming so yeah brace yourself bullish above 1092.50 and bear below 10 69 i did a retrace okay to the dark pool levels i went below two of them by using 1069 but i use this third you know big dark pool as a target if we go below that in the next couple days that's when we know they were selling all right keep that in mind all right there you have it you guys those are your whispers for october 29th until next time happy trading everybody My secret